The Singer SE 9180 has a whole host of button holes and a way to even sew buttons on. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we do free video tutorials on many different sewing machines and sergers and of course embroidery machines. So on this machine, we have a whole category, category number three, that's dedicated to buttonholes. Now when you pick it, it's gonna ask for a slightly different foot. Now if you've ever wondered what this foot was running around your accessory bag, Bag. This is a buttonhole foot and if you actually pull out a button that you're actually making the buttonhole for You're actually going to have a place and if you hold it at the bottom by the way This is the bottom of the foot and you can push kind of up on this little edge right here and it opens up this back opening This is where your buttons gonna sit place your button close it up and it's just gonna kind of hold in place there. And I always do this before I put the foot on the machine. Remember foot etiquette is to always pull your foot towards you. Don't ever push down on your foot. And then go ahead, same thing. You're pushing that buttonhole foot on that little bar onto the ankle, straight in, straight out all the time. And there's one last thing that we do when we sew a buttonhole. So here we go, there's this lever, it's actually kind of hidden behind where your needle threader comes down. Reach behind there, pull it down, it has a little picture of a buttonhole, and it is actually going to be what registers the size of the button that's sitting into the back of the foot. So that's gonna just make sure it's all the way down. Now what you can do is once you start, it's ready to go. Now we have actually done tons of buttonholes on Singer sewing machines. Everyone has done literally the same. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna link right up here. There'll be a pop out where you are gonna go watch me do a buttonhole on another machine. And also right here at the end of this video to kind of explain how those are all done. And then we'll also do a video and it's gonna pop out right here on how to sew the button on. And the button sew on stitch is this one right here, same menu, but the one with the little picture of a button with two little parts. And I do like to lower the feed dogs when I do this, but all it's gonna do is gonna go back and forth in the holes here. Now, you know what the most common question is? Number one, what size do I set this for? And it's preset because most buttons are the same opening. And the second most commonly asked question is how do I get four to stitch it in four holes? Well, your sewing machine only goes back and forth, right? Zigzag. Well, you do two and then you move it and then line it up and do two more. So you have to do it twice, but that's how you get four holes stitched. So again, we're gonna link to those videos um, that came up. So slide on back if you didn't catch those links and then you can watch me sew buttons on. Like I said, they're the same on every single machine. So I'm gonna just go ahead, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and have you go watch how I do it on a different Singer machine. It's identical to this particular model. We have tons of video tutorials that I have done on this model close by. So I hope you'll check out the entire playlist and all the videos for the embroidery unit as well.